going on guys here I have a question the question is asking the 25 kilogram bar has a center of mass at G if it is supported by a smooth peg at C the roller at A and coat AB determine the reactions at these supports so first of all I like to draw this draw this right here so it's gonna be like this and B is the support and here we have G and then C right and um, this is this is little bit inclined so I have to show that this is uh, 15 degree inclined and the total incline is 30 degree right this is 30 degree so since we have this thing here we know here's the the weight is acting here they have mentioned that the 25 kilogram bar has a center of mass at g so the weight is, act, weight is acting straightly downward right here and this is C so we know like since this is pulling down the reaction is going to be upside and since this is 30 degree we know this angle is 30 degree too this is 30 degree and if that is 30 degree then we know this is 30 degree therefore this is 60 because this total is 90 degree so this is going to be 60 degree so that's that's all the information we have so what we can do is the first thing we can uh, and this also pulling up since the weight is pulling down the reaction is going to be pulling up so i can say this a y and this is b right b they are supposed to acting on b2 so this is let's say this is b so let's do this <coughs> So first of all I would like to calculate moment around A so if I take moment around A I don't have to worry about B and stuff like that so if I take moment around B and AY because I am starting from this so I have to take the moment above right so if I start from moment around A uh, let's say clockwise is positive so the total moment is going to be equal to zero and first of all I, I like to start the G uh, its weight is acting on it so it's going to be W straight downward so W has given 25 kilogram I have to convert into Newton to do that I have to multiply this by 9.81 so if I multiply I get 25 times 9.81 it's 245.25 so since we have this one here here it's going to be this is acting downward so it's clockwise in the G it's like weight is acting downward so it's clockwise so it's going to be W and this is 30 degree therefore this cost 30 W cost 30 and also C is acting upward here it's counterclockwise so therefore I have to put minus sign here and C and since this is acting upward C uh, so we, we can find the C so the distance is distance is this is 0 0.5 so I have to multiply okay I have to multiply by distance because we are calculating the moment. I have to multiply the weight by distance too. So W cos 30, this is 0 0.5 meter distance. So multiply by 0 0.5 and minus this is C time, this is uh, 0 0.2. 
so 0 0.5 plus 0 0.2 is uh, 0 0.7 right 0 0.7 is equal to 0 so if I calculate C it comes out to be 151.7 Newton so this is my answer for C and then what I can do is I can take the horizontal components so let's say if uh, f of the total f of x is equal to 0 because in set statics total f is 0 uh, and if I take this direction positive first of all I can say b uh, bx b in the x-axis and okay, let's see so weight is acting directly vertical we can't take that bx is acting toward this direction so I take this positive and we have c c is acting upward but if you draw the components the components are going to be like this this is so this is my vertical component going upward and horizontal component moving toward the, toward the left so it has to be negative it's going to be c cos 60 <coughs> equal to 0 so we have found the c already here so if I solve for bx it's come, uh, it comes out to be 151.7 cos 60 so if I calculate that 151.7 cos 60 it's equal to 75.85 Newton right so we are calculating in Newton and then and then we have Bx so from this diagram the x component is B, B cos 15 so we can say Bx is equal to b cos 15 so we have found the bx already so we can calculate the b here b, can, b is equal to bx over cos 15 right so if I calculate that one it will come out to be 78.5 newton so this is my b this is bx and B right here now I can calculate calculate uh, B by using this because B by is going to be B sine 15 right B by is going to be equal to B sine 15 so if I plug the B value we found where here to this one it comes out to be 20.8 Newton and then finally uh, we can find the a y so i have uh, take the total moment i have took the x components now i can take the y components so sigma f y the total force of y components is going to be equal to zero let's take our upside is positive so if i calculate this one a y is going to be positive and then we have weight is acting downward also b y b y is going upward right because sine 30 mean this is going upward therefore it's plus uh, 20.8 and minus weight is uh, weight is acting downward we have calculated the weight it's it's w cos 30 uh, it's 244 5.25 245.25 acting downward and C is acting upward plus C C is 151.7 1.7 and it's uh, Sixty degrees, so it has to be. So it's not a straight upline, right? 
so we have to calculate this this one so in order to do that I have to use sin 60 so I have to multiply this one by sin 60 so the final uh, all of them are equal to 0 so if I calculate here by it's it comes out to be 93.6 Newton so this is my final answer I hope you guys like this video see you next time